one pot jambalaya let's get it you're going to start with a smoking hot pot you're going to add some bacon grease and some olive oil the bacon grease adds a depth of flavor to this pot you're going to add your boneless skinless chicken thighs that you have cubed i love chicken thighs because they have more flavor than the chicken breast and they're juicier now it's time to season these thighs we're going to heavily season these with salt black pepper garlic powder onion powder we're going to use some thyme and some smoked paprika. If you don't have smoked paprika, regular paprika will work. This is going to give your chicken a really nice flavor. After you saute that for about two minutes, it's time to add the Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity is onions, green bell pepper, and celery. This is an important base to get that really nice flavor that we love in jambalaya. After you have let that saute for about two minutes, let's add our garlic and our smoked sausage. I am using beef smoked sausage. You can use whatever kind of smoked sausage you like. You wanna saute this until the smoked sausage gets a nice crust. After that, let's add our rice. This is two cups of rice. We're going to put some Worcestershire sauce in here. And then we're going to go in and season this rice with the exact same seasonings that we use for our chicken with the addition of Old Bay. We're making jambalaya, so we got to use that Creole seasoning. It is important that you heavily season this because that is going to give us that deep flavor that we love. I saute this for about two to three minutes. This allows your rice to par cook to make sure that you don't have any crunchy jambalaya. After we have sauteed our rice, it's time to add our chicken stock. I'm adding four cups, four and a half cups of chicken stock. And this is the chicken stock that has tomato in it. The tomato gives it another depth of flavor. You can use whatever stock that you like. Now you add your wonderful bay leaves. This is going to give us yet another depth of flavor. I add red pepper flake. And at this time, you can add your seafood, like your shrimp. You are going to cover, reduce, and let it cook for about 40 minutes. Open it up and voila, look at that. It looks delicious. The smell is immaculate. At this time, you want to remove your bay leaf. Make sure you take all those out because you cannot eat those. Then you're going to lightly fluff your rice with a fork. Do not stir, just fluff. Get everything all mixed in. And guess what? You have your jambalaya. Bon appetit. Let's eat.